easy digital downloads versus WooCommerce. Hmm. And generally, you'll hear people say, well, WooCommerce is for physical products, while easy digital downloads is for digital products. And to be honest, that's not a bad rule of thumb, but there is more to it than that. So today I will share with you the pros and cons of each and even give you an alternative. And by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of which platform is for you. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astra team, and with an expected e-commerce market to total $7.9 trillion by 2027, e-commerce is still an amazing opportunity. So in this video, I'm going to help you decide which WordPress e-commerce platform is best for you and your business. Now, before we dive in, let's take a look at what is commonly accepted when we talk about WooCommerce versus easy digital downloads. And traditionally, WooCommerce is seen as a platform that is best suited when you sell physical products, but I can also do digital products. And on the other hand, Easy digital downloads, which I might refer to as EDD because it's shorter. Well, EDD is seen as, you may have guessed it, a platform best suited for digital downloads, but that can also do physical products. Now, it might sound obvious to you, but some people think easy digital downloads cannot sell physical products and vice versa for WooCommerce. So I thought we'd clear this out. Okay, with that out of the way, let's start with why you would choose EDD or Easy Digital Downloads versus WooCommerce. And the first reason is that EDD is slightly easier to use than WooCommerce. And I say slightly because they both come with a lot of options, but especially when it comes to digital downloads, well, it's in the name. So it's made to be easier for you to just create products and get started. Whereas with WooCommerce, it feels like you first have to deal with a lot of things that have nothing to do with digital products, and then you get to the digital products part. And if I can give a comparison, let's say you just wanna go dance with friends. You just wanna know a couple of moves, you know, you wanna dance on the rhythm. You don't necessarily want to go and take professional dancing classes so you can be the new shining star. You just wanna dance and chill in the club. And sometimes that's what WooCommerce feels like. Next, EDD is lighter, and when I mean lighter, I mean lighter on the server resources compared to WooCommerce. It's still not the best of the best options, and we'll talk about that later in the video, but still, it comes as lighter than WooCommerce. And this is super important, because page load times have a direct impact on e-commerce performance because they enhance user experience, boost conversion rates, improve search engine rankings, and increase customer satisfaction. In other words, a fast website makes you more money. Next, EDD excels in, drum roll please. Digital downloads. Yeah, I know. Whereas when it comes to WooCommerce, it just feel like it's a side gig. So for example here, this is the WooCommerce product. As you can see, there's a bunch of options here. I first need to tick that it's virtual and downloadable, then fill in the info. Then I get a bunch of other options like here, inventory i mean do i really need inventory for digital stock but uh, like we said it's both for physical and digital products but when you just want to use digital products the sheer amount of options may be a bit overwhelming now let's take a look at edd and here in edd you see okay single product bundle service the price the file and boom you can put the download instructions and then you have a few more options here on the side but it doesn't really get in the way if you want to get started quickly. Also, you get options like refund status, you can put the refund window, and these options are pretty awesome because right from the get-go, you can decide on a product per product basis. So that is interesting. But again, if you want to keep it simple, here it doesn't get in the way. It's super easy to add a digital product. Next, EDD is better when it comes to support. With EDD, even in the free version, you get email support Monday to Friday, nine to five. And that's great because even if there are resources online and they can redirect you to their wiki, their documentation, but still, if you really stumble upon a problem where you need human help, you can send an email, open a ticket. Because with WooCommerce, if you are using WooCommerce on the free version of WordPress, which you download from wordpress.org and not the commercial version of WordPress, which you get on wordpress.com, well, if you're using the free version of WordPress, then more than likely you're going to be redirected to community forums. 
Whereas with easy digital downloads, as I mentioned, even with the free plan, you get email support. And if you move to a premium plan, then you get premium support. But with WooCommerce, if you want premium support, more than likely you need to purchase an extension like the subscription extension, for example, or be on the WordPress.com version of WordPress and not on the free downloadable version from WordPress.org. Next, why WooCommerce over easy digital downloads? Now let's address the elephant in the room. Of course, one of the main reasons you would choose WooCommerce over EDD is if you have a purely physical store. Even though EDD is capable of selling physical products, but as they say themselves, Easy Digital Downloads is first and foremost built for selling digital products, which do not need shipping at all. That said, you may occasionally want to send something to someone, either as a standalone product or in conjunction with digital products. For these occasions, we offer a simple shipping extension. So technically, it is possible. But if you want a full-blown physical store, of course, WooCommerce would be the choice. Next, WooCommerce comes with a lot more resources and content than EDD, and that is largely due to its market share. And according to this source, two years ago, WooCommerce had 20% of top million websites in the world use WooCommerce, whereas EDD had 0.15. Now, looking at this, you might say, oh, WooCommerce is absolutely the best, and EDD doesn't even compare, but you have to bear in mind that EDD is serving more of a niche market, especially when it started, because it started not yesterday, but a few years ago. But still, that explains why there are way more resources when it comes to WooCommerce than EDD. So if you have a specific e-commerce project that you want to build with WordPress, then more than likely you find more info, more help, more community-based blog posts, videos, and everything you need to create your perfect project. Now, that doesn't mean that you should discard EDD, just means if your project is a bit out of the beaten path, it might be easier to find information with WooCommerce. And not just information, of course. This is also valid for themes, plugins, and so on, but more about that in a moment. Next, WooCommerce comes with more design options. And because of what we just explained in the market share, of course, most of the designs you're going to find are for WooCommerce when it comes to e-commerce in WordPress, whether it's on popular marketplaces or on the WordPress repository for plugins or themes, you will find way more options with WooCommerce. Now, that being said, you only need one to satisfy what you want for your own store, but still, you do get way more options with WooCommerce. And when it comes to design, with the WordPress Astra theme, you get a ton of options for WooCommerce in the customizer. And with the Starter Templates plugin, you get a ton of beautiful and modern WooCommerce designs. Now, with easy digital downloads, you also get dedicated options through the Astra Customizer, as well as dedicated website templates. So whether you use WooCommerce, easy digital downloads, the Astra theme and the Starter Templates plugin got you covered. Next, and I've already talked about this, but WooCommerce comes with more extensions and plugins. And thus, if you want to expand the features of your website, it's going to be easier with WooCommerce compared to EDD. Now, on a side note, more extensions is not always the best thing in the world, but we'll talk about that later. And while EDD comes with very interesting official extensions, and a list of third-party extensions, it cannot really compare with the thousand plugins you found on the WordPress repository, and I'm not even talking about commercial marketplaces. Now, that being said, the quality of the official extensions of Easy Digital Downloads seems to be on the good side. But still, in terms of choice, WooCommerce is the winner here. And if you want to know the top 10 WooCommerce add-ons you don't want to miss, check out this video once you're done watching this one. Next. Pricing seems to be slightly better with WooCommerce. Now, not specifically about the price of the extensions, but just because there are way more extensions and plugins available as we just saw, that also means that there is a lot more free options. For example, if I want to add a cart abandonment feature with easy digital downloads, and if you don't know what that is important or why you would even do that, well, you have to know that a lot of people, actually most people, go on e-commerce websites, they would add something to the cart and then won't proceed with the sale. So with a cart abandonment feature, basically you can automate a sequence of emails that are going to skyrocket your revenue because people are going to be reminded, hey, 
you started the process with that purchase, but you didn't go through. So let us guide you through. So as I was saying, if you want to add that feature with easy digital downloads, it's going to prompt you to try a service called ReCapture. And ReCapture alone starts at $29 per month. Whereas with WooCommerce, you could install this plugin and start generating more revenue completely free of charge because this plugin is completely free. And actually, we have a dedicated video on the topic. So if you're interested, you'll find a link to this video in the description below. So even though some of the premium WooCommerce extensions can also get quite steep, just like the WooCommerce subscription extension, for example, all in all, WooCommerce might still be a better deal because of the sheer amount of free plugins. Next, let's talk about an alternative to WooCommerce and easy digital downloads. And that alternative is called ShareCard and it was built to make your e-commerce life easy. Now let's break it down. We saw that with easy digital downloads, you are limited when it comes to physical products. And while ShareCard is more oriented with digital downloads also, it still comes with more options out of the box when it comes to physical products, for example, product variations. As you can see here in the interface, all you need to do is select physical products, and then you can manage the inventory and add variants. Whereas with EDD, you would first have to add the simple shipping extension. And even then, you wouldn't get the same amount of features when it comes to physical products management. Next, we saw that easy digital download comes with less resources and content than WooCommerce. And while it's undeniable that ShareCard is way smaller than WooCommerce, it solved the issue with an easy and intuitive interface and a way easier product. And that means that you actually need less resources and documentation to achieve what you want to achieve. That being said, ShareCard comes with a complete knowledge base, a quality blog, and you can even put in feature requests to make your life even easier in the future. But one of the core principles of ShareCard is that from the get-go, e-commerce should be easy. Next, we saw that easy digital downloads comes with less options than WooCommerce. But when it comes to ShareCard, you can virtually use it with any theme and plugin, and it's super flexible when it comes to design. Basically, use your favorite visual website builder and easily implement ShareCard. And even beyond this flexibility, if you just compare the user interface, so for example here, this is Easy Digital Downloads Checkout, and this is the checkout you get out of the box with ShareCard. And just take a look at that modern and professional dashboard. But since you are on the Brainstorm Force channel, which is the creator of Astra, here is a little tip. Astra comes with specific compatibility when it comes to WooCommerce, and easy digital downloads. So if you go from the standard WordPress theme to Astra, and let's do it, let's activate. And if we go back to the checkout page and refresh, out of the box, you get something like this, which is already way better than what we just saw. And if we tweak the settings through the customizer, it will be even better. And when it comes to ShareCard, it comes with beautiful starter templates like this one, this one, this one, or even this one. So whether you use WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, or ShareCart, the Astra theme and the Starter Templates plugin got you covered. Next, we saw that EDD comes with less extension than WooCommerce, but at the same time requires extensions for pretty much everything. Whereas when it comes to ShareCart, a lot of the features are already built in, and you can toggle these features on and off. Next, we saw that with EDD, and actually even with WooCommerce, the price can get steep pretty fast. Now, ShareCard fixes that by having awesome features even in the free version. So, for example, with EDD, if you want to add recurring payments, you're going to have to go with one of the premium plans. And the same thing for WooCommerce, you will need to get the Woo Subscriptions extension. Whereas with ShareCard, you get subscriptions and installments even in the free version. Or another example, you get the card abandonment feature for free. Yeah. Next. When it comes to WooCommerce, we saw that WooCommerce is more on the bloated side. Now, when it comes to ShareCard, it's a headless e-commerce solution. Now, why does that even mean? Well, headless e-commerce refers to separating the front end and back end of an online store. The front end is what customers interact with and the back end manages details like inventory, payments and order processing. In other words, the heavy stuff is managed on ShareCard's server, thus making your website faster and more secure. And we all know that fast and secure websites are crucial for an e-commerce business. And that actually also answers the next con of WooCommerce, which is the fact that it's way heavier on the server side. Next, we saw that with WooCommerce, when it comes to digital downloads, it feels a bit like a side gig. 
or as Sharecard thrives with digital downloads. The interface is modern and intuitive, the options are very clear, and adding a new digital product is a breeze. Next, we saw that when it comes to support, with the free version of WooCommerce, you have to rely heavily on community-based forums. Whereas with Sharecard, even in the free plan, you get basic email support, and if you go the premium ride, you can get either a priority or front-of-the-line support. Now with WooCommerce, you can also get a more personalized support, but it really depends on the extensions that you purchased. Now, which is the best WordPress e-commerce platform for you and your project? So let's start with WooCommerce. So let's say you need to kickstart a project, you don't really have the time to learn a new tool, and you already know WooCommerce in and out, or you started learning it, then obviously WooCommerce would be a good solution. Next, if your store is physical products oriented, this is like a no-brainer, especially if it's a complex website. But if it's a simpler website with a couple of physical products, as we saw, there are other alternatives. But yeah, if you're going to sell a lot of physical products or your website is more on the complex side, then WooCommerce is definitely an option. And next, you would consider WooCommerce if you have very specific workflows or tools that you want to work with. So for example, let's say you sell products in both your physical store and you want to sell it on your online store, but they are the same products and you're already using a dedicated accounting software. Well, if the extension for this software already exists for WooCommerce, then it would be a no brainer. All right, now let's take a look at Sharecard. So Sharecard is a great option if you want a free to affordable model. As we saw, even in the free plan, you get a ton of awesome features. You can always upgrade if you need additional features, but the free plan alone can get you started in no time. Whereas with WooCommerce and EDD, you would already need to shell out some dollars to do the same thing. Next, if you are looking for a lighter and more secure solution, well, thanks to the fact that it's a headless solution, Sharecard is the perfect candidate. Because as we saw, some of the heavy lifting is going to take place on Sharecard server, thus making your website faster and more secure, which means more revenue. And finally, if you want a modern looking website or a simpler physical shop, then Sharecard is a great option because it's so flexible in terms of design because you can basically integrate with any existing theme and plugin. You can really brand your website the way you want and you really don't have to compromise on the way it looks. Now let's talk about why you would choose easy digital downloads. Well, first of all, if you are 100% sure that you will strictly sell digital products and not physical ones, then easy digital downloads may be a good fit. But I must insist, you must be 100% sure you will never want to sell physical products in the future. See, even if you start with digital products, it doesn't mean that in the future you won't want to start selling merch, for example, or hard copies of your digital book, or physical prints of your photos, you name it. And if that happens, then Surecard is probably a better fit, as it does both digital and physical products. But if you know for sure you will never ever ever sell physical products from your online store, then consider Easy Digital Downloads. Next, if you want to build a digital marketplace, then Easy Digital Downloads is what you want. So if you dream of creating the next Amazon, but for digital products, and let's call it Mamazon. Yeah, I know. Well, with easy digital downloads, you can easily achieve this with two add-ons. The first one is front-end submissions to transform your site into a full-fledged multi-vendor digital marketplace. And the second one is commissions to track sales commissions for additional vendors. And there you go. You can now become the next digital Jeff Bezos. And finally, if you're already heavily invested in the easy digital downloads ecosystem, then it kind of makes sense to stick with it unless you have a real need to change especially if you already have a store with thousands upon thousands of customers and a lot of dollars in revenue. Now, that doesn't mean that you could not transition to another WordPress e-commerce platform, but that is a project on its own. Now, if you want to know how to migrate from other platforms to Sharecard, I'll put a link to this post in the description of this video. So you should now have a better idea of which WordPress e-commerce platform is the best fit for you. Now, I'm curious, which type of e-commerce website do you want to build or redesign? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to know more about Sharecard, we've created a complete video walkthrough to get you started in no time. And of course, you find a link to this video in the description below. Sharecard, the hero of the e-commerce game with its features, it's driving all the fame, fast and reliable, it's 